Hello, welcome to Biograde TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. The History of Ivory Coast Ivory Coast or Côte d'Ivoire is a country in West Africa. Its capital is Yamasuku, while its economic capital and largest city is Abidjan. Guinea, Liberia, Mali, Burkina Faso, and Ghana are bordering countries to Ivory Coast. It is also bordered by the Atlantic Ocean in the south. French is the official language while several indigenous languages are also widely spoken, which include Baoli, Diola, Dan, Anyi, and Sibara Senufo. In all, there are about 78 different languages spoken in Ivory Coast. The major ethnic groups are Akan, which is the largest, Gormandi, and Cruz. The country has sizable populations of Muslims, that's about 42.9%, Christians are about 33.9%, and various indigenous religions, about 3.6%. 19.1% of Ivorians consider themselves to be irreligious. Early French and Portuguese merchant explorers in the 15th and 16th centuries divided the west coast of Africa into four coasts according to the prevailing local economies. There was the Slave Coast, Nigeria, Togo, Benin Republic, the Gold Coast, Ghana, and the Grain Coast, Liberia. The coast that the French named Côte d'Ivoire and the Portuguese named the Costa do Marfim both literally meaning coast of ivory, reflected the major trade in the area. A number of important states thrived in the region that now make up Ivory Coast during the pre-European era. There was the Muslim Kong Empire, which was established by the Jola in the early 18th century. Although Kong grew prosperous and became a center of agriculture and trade, Ethnic diversity and religious conflict gradually weakened the kingdom, and in 1895, Kong was conquered by Samori Turi of the Wasulu Empire. The Abron Kingdom of Giaman was another important state in the region. It was established in the 17th century by the Abron people fleeing from the Ashanti Confederation in present-day Ghana. The Abron gradually extended their control over the groups like the Dula people in Bonduku, which became a major center of commerce and Islam, with students coming from all parts of West Africa to learn from the kingdom's Quranic scholars. Other powerful empires which existed earlier than the Kong and Abron kingdoms are the Ghana, Mali and Songhai empires whose influences were visible in present-day Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast became a French colony in 1893, and Captain Bingar was appointed governor. Until 1958, Ivory Coast was administered by governors appointed in Paris, using a system of direct, centralized administration. This system left little room for Ivorian participation in policy-making, only a few Ivorian elites enjoyed certain privileges through the principle of assimilation. Dissatisfied, Ivorian nationalists began to push for independence, which was attained in 1960 with Hufwe Bwanyi as the first president. At independence, Ivory Coast was the most prosperous country in French West Africa. It was contributing more than 40% to the region's total exports. Under Hufwebwain's rule, the country was the third largest producer of coffee behind Brazil and Colombia. By 1979, it was the largest cocoa producer in the world, as well as Africa's leading exporter of pineapples and palm oil. The presence of French technicians in the country contributed to Ivory Coast's success. Whereas in many African countries, Europeans were kicked out after independence. In Ivory Coast, they poured in, increasing from about 30,000 before independence to twice that number by 1980. Hufwebwanyi ruled the country under a one-party system 
amid calls for multi-party politics. He began to face criticism for his style of leadership. His decision to spend millions of dollars transforming his home village of Yamusukro into the new capital was highly criticized. In 1990, civil servants went on strike to protest against institutional corruption leading to unrest. The unrest would later lay the foundation for political instability and civil wars. It forced the government to adopt multi-party democracy. Hufwebwanyi, having grown feeble, died in 1993 and Henry Conan Badie succeeded him. Badie was re-elected in 1995 as president. Unlike Hufwebwanyi, who managed ethnic issues with care, Badie's approach heightened ethnic tensions and eventually led to two civil wars in the following decades. In late 1999, a group of angry officers carried out a coup and removed Badie who fled to France. General Robert Gray was installed in power. The new leadership worked to reduce crime and corruption, which had become obvious at the time. The following year, Laurent Gbagbo emerged victorious in the presidential elections. The election was anything but peaceful and it led to a crisis which eventually became full-blown civil war in September 2002. Even though peace agreements were signed in January 2003, the crisis resumed in 2004. When Gbagbo's term expired in 2005, elections could not be held because of the war. Another peace accord was signed in March 2007 and elections eventually held in November 2007 with Gbagbo losing to former Prime Minister Alassane Ouattara. Supporters of Gbagbo disagree and declared Gbagbo to have won. He was inaugurated for another term. However, Alassane Ouattara, who most countries and the United Nations recognized as a lawful winner, was sworn in in another ceremony. This crisis led to Ivory Coast's second civil war between 2010 and 2011. When the war ended in April 2011, after Gbagbo was taken into custody, the country had been severely damaged. Later in January 2016, Gbagbo was taken to the International Criminal Court in The Hague, which the first former head of state to be so taken. He was acquitted by the court but given a conditional release in January 2019. Ivory Coast is divided into 12 districts plus two district-level autonomous cities. The districts are further divided into 31 regions, which in turn are split into 108 departments. Under the departments, there are 510 sub-prefectures and sometimes communes which comprise multiple villages. Ivory Coast was part of the founding members of the Organization of African Unity OAU, in 1963, which became the African Union in the year 2000. Generally, Ivory Coast has shown respect for state sovereignty and advocates peaceful cooperation between African countries. It is also a member of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, La Francophonie, Latin Union and South Atlantic Peace and Cooperation Zone. Considering the West African subregion, Ivory Coast has a relatively high income per capita, which was $2,286 US dollars nominal in 2019. It is the biggest economy in the West African Economic and Monetary Union, bringing 40% of the Monetary Union's total GDP. The country is the biggest cocoa exporting nation in the world and the fourth largest exporter of goods in general in sub-Saharan Africa. Ivory Coast has experienced faster economic growth than most other African nations since it gained independence. Cote d'Ivoire is considered one of the strongest footballing nations in Africa. It has made three appearances at the FIFA World Cup in Germany 2006, in South Africa 2010, and in Brazil 2014. They were champions in the African Cup of Nations in 1992 and 2015, defeating Ghana on both occasions to clinch the title. 
Didi Drogba is unarguably their biggest star. Other notable players include siblings Yaya Toure and Kolo Toure, Eric Bailey and Javino. Basketball and Taekwondo are also quite popular in the country. The country is ranked second place in Africa all-time medals winning. Some of the beautiful sites in Ivory Coast include its economic capital, Abidjan, which is nicknamed the Paris of West Africa for its beauty. There is more to explore in the city. The lovely beaches, lively nightclubs, St. Paul's Cathedral, and the National Art Museum. Then there is Yamusukro, which is the official capital of Ivory Coast, even though it is only a political capital, as Abidjan remains where most things happen. However, Yamusukro has some great sites like the Basilica of Our Lady of Peace, which is the largest basilica in the world, larger than St. Peter's Basilica in the Vatican and extremely beautiful. The Thai National Park is undoubtedly one of the most staggering national attractions in the country. It is one of the last remaining areas of virgin rainforest on the continent and has been on UNESCO's list of World Heritage Sites since 1982. The park is home to several species of mammals including the pygmy hippopotamuses, olive colobus monkeys, leopards, and chimpanzees. What have we missed out of this history? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share, and subscribe to our channel.